Namaste. Today's pose is actually two poses that are often taught together, cat-cow pose. But we have to start with tabletop. So let's begin with tabletop. You want to come onto your hands and your knees. And I want you actually to come up onto your knees first and decide what is hip distance apart for you. So this is not hip distance apart, right? My knees are wider than my hips. We want to make sure that our knees descend directly from our hip joint, our hip points, where the femur connects with the pelvic bone. So that is hip distance apart. So find that for yourself, and then come down onto your hands and your knees. Place your knees directly underneath your hips, and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Line your wrist crease. If you look down, you see your wrist has a crease. Line your wrist crease up with the front of the mat, so it's parallel to the front of the mat. Hips directly over knees, so make sure your knees aren't too far away or too close. Do your best. If you have a mirror, that's very useful. Um, if you don't have a mirror, just try your best. Spread your fingers as wide as they will go. And press into the knuckles, the base of each finger and the knuckles in the fingers, in order to take the weight off of the wrists. Otherwise, your fingers might be together and all your weight dumps into your wrists, which can cause wrist problems over time or, or cause pain even today if you have a sensitive wrist. So turn your inner elbows forward. Relax the shoulders down the spine, lengthen the crown of the head to create a long back of the neck, relax the traps, internally rotate the triceps towards your body, externally rotate the biceps, engage the core, press through the tops of the feet to engage the feet, and this is tabletop. So from here, with the core engaged, as you inhale, Begin to drop the belly, press the heart space forward, drop the shoulder blades down the back, lengthen the collarbones, move the collarbones forward in space, and bring your chin to parallel with the mat. This is cow pose. Sometimes we see people looking too far forward, lifting their chin forward, and that causes a crink in the back of the neck. So we want to keep that long back of the neck, look directly forward, engage the core, lift the tailbone towards the sky, press through the tops of the feet, and then as you exhale, begin at the tailbone, so round the tailbone towards the space between your knees, engage the core, press through the lower back like you're rippling like an ocean wave, Round through the lower back, round through the shoulder blades, press the front body up to meet the back body, and allow the crown of the head to relax towards the mat. So back of the neck is long. And this is cat pose. Imagine a Halloween cat and what that would look like. So press your back, your rounded back, up towards the ceiling as much as you can. And then as you inhale, Core engage, begin to drop the belly, turn the tailbone up towards the sky, roll the shoulders away from the ears, drop the heart space between the biceps, lift the collarbones forward, and look forward, cow pose. And then exhale, starting with the tailbone, rounding through the lower back, the mid back the upper back, press the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling, chin to chest, crown of head heavy, press to the tops of the feet so that your feet are still active, and then inhale, this will be our last round, rounding through the tailbone, dropping the belly towards the mat, squeeze the thighs energetically together, collarbone lifts, shoulders relax, And chin stays slightly tucked, so we're not overextending. And then exhale, begin at the tailbone, press through the lower back, press through the core. 
Ground, ground, ground. Through the upper back. Shoulder blades touch the ceiling. Chin to chest. And then inhale, come back to neutral, tabletop. Practice some more if you wish. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow for another tutorial. Namaste.